All right, in this video, what we're going to be doing is solving an exponential equation using the one to one property of exponential functions. So what that says is if you can rewrite each one of the sides of the equation with the exact same base raised to a power, we're allowed to drop these bases and set the exponents equal to one another and then solve down from there. Um, you can see this is an exponential equation as our variables are located up in the exponent. So first inclination on this would be to rewrite it. So maybe it's um, nine on both sides, but you can't rewrite 27 as nine to a power. Nine times nine makes 81, we're right past 27. So instead we're gonna have to aim a little bit smaller and think about factoring 27 and factoring nine. Well, nine can be rewritten as three times three or three squared. And 27 can be rewritten as three times three times three or three cubed. All right, so first I would rewrite them so you can see the same base. Now we're not quite to the point where we can drop our bases because it's not just three to a power on each side. We could go ahead and combine our exponents together on the left-hand side by using multiplication. So it's gonna be three times two X makes six X. On the right-hand side, I wouldn't quite go there yet. I'm gonna take one more step in between and bring that exponent along. Instead, the next thing I would do is I would move the three squared up to the numerator by making it a negative exponent. So three to the negative second power. That's one of those properties that it takes a little bit of practice to get comfortable with, um, but you can get there. It's not that bad of a property. All right, next thing we have is we wanna combine our exponents together on the right-hand side because we don't quite have three just to a power. We have three to a power and that's all raised to another power. So in this case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and multiply those exponents together. Um, when you do so, you have to distribute that negative two it needs to be multiplied by each of those terms in the outer exponent. So negative two times X makes negative X, negative two X, and negative two times positive three makes negative six. Now we're to the point where we have the exact same base on both sides. We can drop the threes from our bases, set the exponents equal, and this brings us to a nice linear equation. Okay, so for solving this linear equation, we wanna get all the X terms on one side, all the variable terms. I'm gonna elect to put them on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna add two X's to move those to the left-hand side. This will give us eight X equals negative six, bring that negative six along. And then to get X by itself, we'll divide both sides by eight. So that makes a one, we get X equals, with a little reducing down, negative three fourths for our solution. All right, I hope this helps review over a little bit of our exponent rules, when to multiply them, to combine them, when to make them negative, to move up to the numerator, um, and how to solve exponential equations using the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions. All right, good luck to you.